Hello guys and welcome back. Today we have this question right here. A plus 2AB plus B is 11. And we have to find the value of A plus B where A and B are all integers. But before we start, feel free to pause the video and give it a try first. Are you done? Cool. Now let's get started. In fact, we have A here, A here, B here, B here. We can choose to factor any of them out. If we factor out A, we will have A times 1 plus 2B plus B is equal to 11. Now, check this out. What else can we do to this equation right here? In fact, we don't have much option when we factor out A just like that. So what I'll do is that I'm just going to put this. Okay? This idea is not going to help, so I'm going to get rid of it. Let's do this instead. Instead of factoring out a, I'm going to factor out 2a. So that right here, we'll be left with 1 half. Then plus here, 2ab divided by 2a, we'll be left with just b. Then plus b here, and this is equal to 11. The next step is that we want to generate another term, which is 1 half plus b, so that we can factor it out. And we can do that by adding 1 half to this side Right here so that if we put this in parentheses they will be the same remember addition is commutative and of course whatever you do to the left hand side of the equation you must do the exact same thing on the right therefore I'm gonna put one half here as well we can see that we have this here we have this here we can just factor it out so that we get one half plus B times here we'll be left with 2a then plus here will be left with just 1. And this is equal to, let's simplify this, the LCM is 2, 2 times 11, 22 plus 1, 23. This is what we have for now. Now you realize that if we get rid of this fraction here, everything will be pretty much easy. So let's get rid of this by multiplying each side of the equation by 2, just like that. And of course, we can just distribute this one like this. So that we will have 2 times 1 half is just 1, then plus 2 times b is 2b. Then here we will have 2a plus 1, and this is equal to this, and this will go and be left with 23. Easy. Product of two factors is 23, and of course, this 23 right here is a prime number, right? Factors of 23 is just 1 and the 23 itself. If we multiply them, it's just like this one. 1 times 23 is 23. 1 plus 2b times 2a plus 1 is also 23. In fact, we can say that the whole of this right here is just 1, and then the whole of this is the 23 here. Or this same thing can be 23, and then this one can be 1. So we can form equation out of this. But before that, let's pay attention to something. I'm going to clear this quickly, and then put the one here back. The question is saying that A and B are all integers. Therefore, it didn't state clearly that it is either positive or negative. Therefore, we have to also consider the negative integers as well. So I'm going to put negative 1 times negative 23. It will also give us 23, of course. And the first equation is that 1 plus 2b is equal to, let's deal with the positive aspect first, is equal to 1. Then the second equation will be this, will be 23. 2a plus 1 is also 23. Let me put this one here, just like that. Of course, let's solve for b from this equation. We will have... 2b is equal to, if we transpose this one, we're going to get the right-hand side to be 0. And dividing the side of the equation by 2, we have b to be 0. Now from here, let's keep 2ab on the left. Then on the right, we have 1. Let's transpose it so that we get 22 here. Therefore, we have a to be 22 divided by 2, which implies that a is equal to 11. And of course, we are looking for a plus b, we know a, we know b right from here, so 
a plus b is equal to 11 plus 0, which implies that a plus b is 11. This is one of the solutions, of course. Now let's come to the negative factors, just here. In the same way, we can also form two equations. The first one is going to be this is equal to this one, or it can be this. Of course, if you interchange them, you still be getting the same answer. Cool. Therefore, you have 1 plus 2b is equal to negative 1. And this implies that 2b is equal to negative 2. That is if you transpose this 1. So you have b is equal to negative 2 divided by 2, which is equal to negative 1. In the same way, we have 2a plus 1. Let me change the marker so that we can easily differentiate between them. 2a plus 1 is equal to negative 23, negative 23. Therefore, 2a is equal to negative 24. Dividing the side of the equation by 2, we have a is equal to negative 24 divided by 2, which is equal to negative 12. And of course, we are looking for a plus b. Now we know that a is equal to negative 12, then plus b is also negative 1, which will give us negative 13 as the other solution. Of course, we have two solutions for this, negative 13 and then plus So guys, that is pretty much it. I hope you found the video useful. Please help me make this channel one of the best channels on YouTube by subscribing, liking, and then sharing to your friends. See you again on the next video. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching and take care. Bye-bye.